quite a nice evening actually. Spring is here, the days are longer, but it doesn't mean that we can't go and control some rats. There are quite a lot of rats here. I've already had a little look with a thermal a couple days ago, and it looks like I'm gonna have a really busy night. So I'm really looking forward to getting onto it, and that's exactly what I'm gonna go and do. I have three magazines. Each magazine is holding 10 pellets each, so I'm getting 30 pellets off before I need to go and refill these, and I am pretty sure I'm gonna empty these pretty quick. I'm using my Air Arms S510 and I'm using QAS pellets tonight. What I'm going to do now is just wait for a bit of darkness because I very much doubt the rats are going to start coming out in this daylight, but it won't be long before they do start to make an appearance and that's where we'll really start to get busy. Now there's a spot directly behind me and I know there's going to be lots and lots of rats in that area. As soon as it gets dark, they'll start running across and you'll see quite a lot of them. Tonight, that's going to be a very busy area. You don't want to miss it. I'm going to be doing a little bit of an experiment, something I don't usually do, and that's I'm going to bait certain areas. I've got some garlic mayo, and we're going to see if any of the rats want to lap it up. Here we go, full on darkness. Now we're going to start seeing some rats crawling about. So let's go get into position. I think the first place I'm going to go, I'm just going to walk around the back of the farm here and get myself into a decent position. This is always quite a good productive spot, so I think this might be a good place to start. And it also looks like the rats are actually lapping up that garlic mayo. We'll just have to see how this goes throughout the night. Just gonna move in just that little bit closer. First one, just missed the second one. Sometimes some of the feral cats can't believe the look. They always seem a bit confused that they're managing to get this free easy meal. But even then they don't always take it. Magazine change. Soon getting through these magazines.
See, this is what I'm talking about. They just they just keep coming and coming in this really popular spot. And there's still gonna be plenty more. Thirty pellets down. Let's go fill up these three magazines and then we'll carry on again. This evening has got off to a really good start. I knew there was going to be plenty of rats, but I didn't realise there was going to be this amount of rats. So I quickly fill up my magazines and I really do want to get straight back onto it. I've gone straight back to the place where I was getting all those rats. But it looks like I've cleared this area out a little bit. So I'm going to go to a different part of the farmyard. Night's going really well so far, it's got plenty of rats, there's still plenty more rats to go and get. The equipment that I'm using is the Primo Sugar Sticks Gen 3, the long version. I've got the Manbilly saddle clamp on top. This is the one with the ball head, which I'm really enjoying using for rats. I've got a Hick FQ35 Pro thermal monocular. I've got my trusty Air Arms S510 in 177 sub 12. I've got the Arkansas 3-12 LRF 
on top and I'm using QIS 8.48 grain pellets and everything is working a treat. So we're going to carry on. Let's go get some more. The rats here have certainly got no shortage of food and this is probably why they've been breeding quite a lot. So I'm going to continue reducing those numbers. There is one thing which I never ever learn, and that's to learn to count. Fortunately, spare magazine in my pocket, quickly reload it, and I'm back on target. That's another evening done on the rats. Had a fantastic night. No idea how many rats we got, but it's a really good number. All the equipment I used tonight working really, really well. I've left all the information about everything that I've used in the video description, so please check that out. Also, if you are new here and you really enjoy my content, please check out my Patreon account. Link in the video description for that because it's a lot more active. There's a lot more exclusive content in there, and you'll see me a lot more on my Patreon than on my YouTube account. So if you enjoyed this, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one.